عظیم او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم یو ہیو سمٹ ہل آف امپیکبل کیریکٹر ایوری باڈی ہیڈ ٹو سی ہی از دا بیسٹ پرسن او اینڈ فرینڈ ایلائی اینڈ ایڈورسری اینڈ دا ٹروتھ بی ٹول your goodness is measured by what your enemy says and not your friend so the enemies were compelled to say that muhammad sallallahu is the greatest human now listen to this they would say the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam wal iyadu billah wal iyadu billah is a soothsayer is a magician is a fortune teller and whatever and then when they have something to entrust valuable they come and give it to him this is documented it's in, right across muslim authors or non muslim authors so they would say the most nasty things about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam yet the character of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam was so amazing that they would come and leave their valuables in the care of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa innaka la ala khuluqin azim o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you have summited the hill of impeccable character Often we find that a person is fairly dignified, fairly respectful, but if you provoke him or you incite him or you push him in a corner and then he goes into defense, then oh boy, oh boy, you see an ugly side of this man. Let him lose his temper and then you see such an evil side of him that you simply cannot reconcile those words with that individual. In English they say, he who angers you, conquers you so there was a person who was a non muslim and he was a priest zaid bin suana and then he said i studied everything about the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and i said no this man is a prophet there's no doubt but i had my reservation on two things and i need clarity and transparency on it number one that his forbearance and his perseverance surpasses his anger and the more you provoke him the more composed he is the more you incite him the more calculated he is Zaid bin Su'na said, so I wanted to test him out. So I came out, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was with Ali radiallahu anhu, a villager came and he said, O Prophet of Allah, I've invited my nation to Islam and I told them prosperity will come your way but adversity has fallen in their lap. Can you give me some money so I can help them? So the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I don't have anything. He asked Ali, Ali radiallahu anhu said, I don't have. So I stepped forward, Zaid bin Su'na, who was not a Muslim at that time. I said, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, of course he was not a Muslim, but this was an exercise he was carrying out. to study i can give you money and an agreement was made x amount will be given and it will be paid on a date nabi sasam agreed nabi sasam took the money from him gave it to the individual and he said distribute it amongst your people and give them hope and encouragement etc and the individual left he said two days before the duration had lapsed there were two more days of grace left for the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam to offset the debt i came to him and i said yabna abdil mut طالب ما عرفتم الا مطلع او ذا جراند سن اوف عبد المطلب يو هاف نوت بيد مي ماي ماني اند يو بيبل ار نون تو بروكراستينيت وين ات كمز تو سيتلين اوف ديتس اند عمر بن الخطاب رضي الله عنه واز سيتين نيكست تو ذا بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم اند عمر رضي الله عنه واز اي بولز وي تيرنين رابيدلي اند هي سيد او انمي اوف الله ار يو ليترلي بلتين وات يو بلتين تو ماي prophet and the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said umar umar ana wa huwa kunna ahwaj ila ghayri hadha umar umar neither he nor me needed that response we both could do with a different response wow wow two days were still left the duration had not lapsed the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam was been provoked but look at the calmness look at the calmness Omar you should have told me la ilaha illallah la ilaha illallah Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik wa zid wa tahannan recite durood and salawat on the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam Omar you could have told me to be more prompt in paying my due and you could have told him o oh Omar that he must be more polite when asking his right now Omar you take him and give him what i owe him and give an additional 20 dirhams in lieu of the harsh speech akhlaq it was character that just broke through in english they say when you cannot change what's happening 
then change the way you react to what's happening that's where the power lies regardless of what people tell us we responsible for the manner in which we react we can be better or better as umar is walking with this man zaid bin sa'na says to umar you know me umar is like i don't want to know you I, that's not the actual words of course i'm paraphrasing like you know the way you spoke to the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said you know you know the priest al hibr that's me so umar radi answered but what drove you to speak to my prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam like this so then he said oh umar i did this to examine the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and i'm convinced that he is the prophet of allah i make you my witness that i bring iman and half my wealth is charity in the path of allah it was character that just broke through it just broke through the stories are too many i met a brother in paris myself by the name of ali and he told me sheikh you will never forget my surname so i said why he said because my surname is forget he said i took the shahada for 20 years i prayed every day to allah to give my mom hidayah and i only displayed character to her i never gave her active da'wa once every day i prayed to allah and i used to just give her akhlaq the character of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam at the age of 93 on her hospital bed she called me one week before she passed away he told it to me myself one week before she passed away and she said ali i want to accept your faith and die like you character i leave you on this note we are more concerned about our reputation than our character reputation is the perception of others about us character is what we actually are reputation will get you married but it takes character to keep you married reputation will get you employed but it takes character to keep you employed it's easier to impress the whole world than your spouse but it's more important to impress your spouse than the whole world reputation is the perception of others about us character is what we are